Ever wondered why our lowest points in life seem to define us more than our victories? There's a certain gravity to adversity that shapes our character in ways success simply can't. Take, for instance, the story of Oprah Winfrey. Despite her difficult upbringing, she rose to become a beacon of inspiration. Her struggles didn't define her, rather, they refined her. It's as if hardship hones us, chiseling away until our true selves emerge. So the question is, why do these low points have such a profound impact? It turns out there's a scientific explanation for this. When we face adversity, our brains and bodies don't just endure it, they adapt and evolve. Studies on resilience, that's our ability to bounce back from hardship, show that navigating through life's trials can actually strengthen our mental muscle, much like physical exercise does for our bodies. Now let's take this a step further, post-traumatic growth. It's a concept that psychologists have been studying for years. It suggests that many people don't just return to their baseline after a trauma, they actually use the experience to grow beyond their previous levels of functioning, leading to a richer, fuller life. Consider the story of Candy Leitner. In the face of an unimaginable tragedy, the loss of her daughter to a drunk driver, she didn't crumble. Instead, she channeled her grief into action, founding Mothers Against Drunk Driving, a nationwide movement that has since saved countless lives. Her struggle wasn't just an obstacle, it was a catalyst. It propelled her into a new realm of purpose and impact, shaping her into a beacon of change and resilience. This is the power of struggle, the science behind our lowest points. It's more than just surviving, it's about thriving, it's about transformation. So struggle is not just a test of our spirit, but a tool for transformation. But it's not just about what happens to us, it's about how we interpret it. Picture yourself in a room with a single window. Outside, the sky churns with storm clouds and the rain is relentless. But what do you see? Is it a gloomy day that's ruined your plans or an opportunity to curl up with a good book and a cup of hot chocolate? This is the power of perspective. Consider Viktor Frankl, a man who endured the unimaginable horrors of the Holocaust. He survived, not because of luck or a will to live, but because he found meaning in his suffering. Frankl believed that even in the most adverse conditions, one can find a reason to continue, a purpose to fulfill. He didn't see his ordeal as a crushing defeat, but as a challenge to rise above. His perspective, it was a test of his spirit, his will, his very humanity. And he met that test head on, turning his darkest hours into a beacon of hope for others. Frankl's story is a testament to the power of perspective. It's like this. Life will throw curveballs at us, some heavier and harder than others, but we can choose whether to see them as obstacles or opportunities. We can decide to let our low points define us. We can redefine them, turning our struggles into stepping stones. Change your perspective, and you change your response to life's lows. So what can we learn from all this? In a nutshell, it's about the transformative power of adversity. It's like a blacksmith shaping a piece of iron into a sword. The iron must endure the heat, the hammering, the bending, and the shaping. It's a process of struggle, but in the end, it becomes something stronger, sharper, and more resilient than it was before. Take Malala Yousafzai, for instance. She was just a young girl when she was shot by the Taliban for advocating for girls' education. But did she let that stop her? No. She used that experience, that low point in her life, to become a stronger advocate. She didn't just survive, she thrived. And she's now an international symbol of resistance and resilience. That's the power of perspective. It's about seeing the struggle, not as a setback, but as a setup for a comeback. It's about turning the trials into triumph, the mess into a message. So the next time you're faced with adversity, remember this. It's not there to break you, but to make you. It's there to shape you into the person you're meant to be. And remember, it's not about avoiding the lows. It's about using them to rise higher. Because just like the iron, you're being shaped into something stronger, sharper, and more resilient. Be sure to hit that like or subscribe button and keep being curious, beautiful, and continue learning. Check out some of my other videos and keep staying curious.